One of the most asked questions I get asked by friends and family is what to do to get more storage when you get the dreaded notification on your phone that it's almost failed or it's already failed to capacity. Or they're simply asking, how do you free up more space? On today's video, I want to show you all the options that you have and which one is my preferred method to free up storage and avoid having issues. I will mention three options and one of these is my favorite, which has saved me tons of time from catastrophes. There are certain apps and especially games that can take huge amounts of storage. As a first step, go through all your apps and delete and uninstall any that you no longer use. Usually when we get a new phone or device, we're so excited that we start installing all these games just to see how it performs. And after a while, we even forget that it's there. And if you have any paid apps or games, you can usually reinstall again when needed without having to pay twice. The next biggest piece of data that takes tons of space is your pictures and videos. If you have an external hard drive or a computer with big storage, simply connect your cell phone to your computer Copy your pictures and videos to your computer and then you can delete them from your phone to clear up space. To do this, connect your phone to your computer with a USB cable. On your phone, bring the top down menu, select file transfer or otherwise your files would not show up on your computer. Now on your computer, navigate to file explorer, find your phone which should now show up as a storage device. Navigate to the DCIM or similar folder and here you're going to see the pictures and videos. Select all of the pictures and videos, copy them and then paste them into your external drive or computer storage. If you have an iPhone, it's similar, but you might need to install iTunes first so your phone's folder show up on your computer. I did option number two for a long time and after losing some important pictures and videos after dropping my hard drive, I stopped relying on that method. What I use now, which is my preferred method, is using the Google Photos app with their cloud storage. With this option, my photos and videos are automatically backed up to the cloud or to my Google storage. I can access these photos from any computer or phone via the app or the website. You can also use the same storage on multiple devices. To use Google Photos, simply download it from your phone's app store, either on Android or iPhone. Log in with your Gmail account or create one if you don't have one yet. Once installed, go to Settings, Photo Settings, backup and here enable backup photos and videos from this device to your Google account. Right below that, I like to select backup quality to original quality so my media doesn't save in a lower resolution. I also back up using Wi-Fi only so I select never backup using mobile data. You can start using the Photos app for free with 15 gigabits of storage included, but you are probably going to run out of storage pretty fast. The paid version will start you off with two terabytes for $10 a month, which allows you to save up to 250,000 12 megapixel photos or 500 hours of HD video. To put this in perspective, I have been using them since 2016 and still have not run out of storage. What's great is that this will also give you access to Google Drive on the web and Google Drive desktop app, which lets you back up all your computer's documents and crucial data. 
Check out the video that I did on the Google Drive desktop app if you want to learn more about that. Now, once the app and settings are set up, in the settings, you should see the first option as backup complete. When that's done, click on free up space. This will delete photos and videos from your phone that are already safely backed up to your cloud storage. After a few seconds, like magic, your phone has usable storage again. And what's great is you can still see all your old photos at any time. I hope you have enjoyed this video and give it a like so it can spread to more people so it can help them out as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll personally respond to you. If you're visiting our channel for the first time, make sure to subscribe to get more awesome free tech content. Until next time, Ultra Tech out.